Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today, I talk with salad dressing mogul Anna Ficarelli, and I prepare sun-dried tomato pesto. It is fabulous. But first, listener-supported, quality rock, and commercial-free. It's the Summit Radio Station. The Summit Radio is Akron-based and broadcast locally on WKTL 90.7 out of Struthers Fieldhouse. It's a public radio station that is funded through listener support and plays an eclectic mix of music. In heavy rotation are local artists from Northeast Ohio and Western Pennsylvania. Unlike corporate radio with mandated playlists and limited selections, it's a refreshing formula of independent and well-known artists. So the music is under the direction of program director Brad Savage, and we're in Studio C, and this was built specifically for a performance space. Right, yeah. I mean, the acoustics in here, this is an amazing space. Yeah, it's pretty nice. We have a capacity of about 65 or 70 people in here, and uh, pre-COVID, you know, we were averaging about 65 artist visits a year. Those are the member perks when you're a member of the station. You get the invites to attend and meet the artists and do the Are those the random, concerts. you know, or, or is it it's people kind that of, prefer they, bands? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, we send out an email blast. It goes to our Red Guitar Club first, which is our top tier yeah. donors. And then we fill the rest of the seats with the general uh, memberships. And sometimes we even take them on the road to other venues. We've done some as, you know, pre-show events at the Kent stage or yeah. at Musica or, or wherever. Uh, so anyway, it's, it's pretty sweet to do those intimate interviews and and have the uh, performances of course recently they've gone online we're doing them through like zoom platforms and all which is kind of neat but it's not the same as having them in person tell me about your background in radio before yeah. you came to Akron well I moved here specifically to join uh, the summit in fall of 2015 because my predecessor Bill Gruber was a 30-year program director wow. at this station he retired like how often <laughs> so that's long Longevity yeah. right there. First off, that doesn't happen in our industry. Uh, so it was nice to, you know, I knew there was some stability here, and I knew it was between Akron, Kent, Youngstown, all the musical history in the area. I knew it would be a good, astute, musically savvy type of place. And what really attracted me was the freedom, you know, the public yeah. radio freedom of playlists, the freedom to expose new artists, to actually play local artists like during the day, you know, and like during regular listening hours. Unbelievable. Yeah, not some homegrown show that right. you slam in on a yeah. Sunday night. Yeah, I, I mean, and those are those shows are great, but like really, if you just put your local artists on Sunday night at 11 p.m., yeah. you're not really serving them as you are playing them next to U2 and the Beatles at two o'clock on a weekday, you know? Exactly. So. Behind us is the wall. Hall of Fame for all Northeast Ohio artists, which is also a part of Studio C. And Tommy Bruno, as general manager for 20 years, Mm -hmm. you have guided this ship through many changes. What was the format when you started? So uh, the gentleman over your shoulder is Bill Gruber. Bill Gruber started in 1986 (laughs) and in 1987 answered the phone. Uh, I made a phone call and said, I love radio like you, Casey. It said, I love this station, can I volunteer? So Bill, who just retired 30 years in radio, what a concept, I mean, retired never. with a pension, <laughs> and left on his own terms, <laughs> left on his Hard. own terms. So, Believe. you know, Bill was responsible, he was that early architect in the mid 80s to kind of um, formulate a, a sound, a sound that wasn't heard on other stations. Um, and Bill and I had the, you know, privilege of working together for about 15 years until he retired. And then mm-hmm. you spoke to Brad and Brad Savage came in about three three years ago, three or four years ago. So what was the format then? It was it was modern rock. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, and it, it's progressed ever so slowly. It's It's been an evolution, not a revolution. You know, to be honest with you, Casey, uh, when we raised a million bucks to build this thing and we had people give 50000 75000 $100,000. Yeah. 
Um, but when we had to make a choice as to what to name the building after, we named it after Bill. You know, we have the student or the school system owned KTL. Correct. In Struthers out of our field house. And that revenue, you know, the school can't support this radio can't. station. But I mean, it's there for training purposes. The kids, you know, that um, when I've been down there on the weekends, uh, that do stints and that. And, and it, it is a good asset to have. Well, it's, a, it's an asset, Casey, that, you know, what we said to Struthers was, it's an asset that once you sell, you'll never get it back. Yes. And, you know, I think we feel it's really important as we celebrate 10 years in the Valley. Mm -hmm. We're coming up on 10 years yes. that we've had this partnership with the wonderful Struthers City Schools. It's too important of an asset to have a community public radio station that celebrates the arts and celebrates yes. music. And fortunately, through our, we're with our third superintendent, they've all seen the value of having a station like ours that doesn't cost them any money. So we pay all the bills of running that station, yes. maintaining it. Um, we put games on Friday nights. Are you gonna be the next Bill Gruber? Are you gonna be here? Are you gonna <laughs> do hope. your 35 years? Well, it's funny because, and you know this from media, I mean, my goal is to walk out on my own terms. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, that wasn't always the case in big television. You know, I saw many mm -hmm. a person. So my goal is to leave it much better than I found it. And yeah, Bill is my mentor and you know, he was in my wedding and he's a really important person in my life. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Family-owned Mayflower Wilm Insurance Group is your full-service, independent agency. Our family works with a variety of insurance companies, so you have the best choices for your insurance needs. Let us find the right product at the right price. Personal lines, business, farm, commercial insurance, life insurance. Trust locally-owned Mayflower Wilm. You focus on what's important. We'll take care of the details. Mayflower Wilm, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Well, I am here with Rude the Dude at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Summer has arrived. And you have got so much going on, Rudy. Yes, yes we do, Casey. You know, we're coming out with a new menu for the summer, springtime. Uh, we started a brunch now on Sundays, 11 to 4. Uh, we got the banquet room filling up fast right now for graduation parties and showers. Uh, we're going back to the farm to table menu now on the weekend, so supporting our local farms again. So again, we just, we're getting back to normal again, back to what we used to be, and uh, we're just gonna do what we're used to doing here. They're gonna have entertainment out on this gorgeous patio. And if you need to know what is happening at the Magic Tree, just sign on to their social media accounts. Go to Facebook, Instagram, go to their website, but there is always something happening here at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Kamara Jewelers is the place to buy an engagement ring because we want a relationship with you that lasts a lifetime. Your commitment with her is the same commitment we have to you. We want to sit down with you and teach you about diamonds so you're educated on what you're buying. We have the largest selection we ever have, which is the largest in the area and at the best value. And if it's not something in our case, we could always custom make it. We can make any dream come true. Get real, get Kamara. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Join the Island Purple Cat family. 
Employment opportunities are available at $13 an hour. Given is living. Well, it seems like every month I find a new favorite dish. And this month, my new favorite thing is my sun-dried tomato pesto. I'm going to make it over a pasta, but let me tell you, this would be an excellent dip, excellent on a bruschetta, and it's so easy to make, and the ingredients are really in your pantry. There's not a lot of fresh herbs in there other than the basil, but this freezes really well. So once you have your food processor out, you can make a few batches, stick it in the freezer, and such an easy meal. For this recipe, you'll need one pound of a short noodle pasta, one roasted red pepper, one half cup of sun-dried tomatoes, drain if packed in oil, one cup of fresh basil leaves, plus a few leaves for garnish, one half cup of toasted walnuts, one half cup of grated Parmesan, juice from one half lemon, two tablespoons of tomato paste, four cloves of garlic, roughly chopped, one cup of pasta water, one third cup of extra virgin olive oil, one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and one half teaspoon of ground black pepper. I just dropped that spiral pasta into uh, salted boiling water and I'm cooking it to al dente. So it'll probably be about seven minutes. So in the meanwhile, what I'm going to do is add everything into the bowl, all of the dry ingredients like the nuts, make sure you use the blade attachment, the basil, love fresh basil, adds the best flavors ever. Then I'm going to add the sun-dried tomatoes, the tomato paste, which is so good to have the tube in your fridge because whenever you need to add a little zing to something, it really does make a difference. So I always keep that on hand. Chopped garlic, the lemon juice, the pepper, and the red pepper. Now this is a full teaspoon. This does add quite a bit of heat. If you are not a big fan of the heat, you could leave that out or you could do half a teaspoon. And then for the roasted red pepper, in these jars from Giarusa, there is full peppers right there in the jar. There's about three or four to a jar. So just break that up and throw this in. And that also adds a little moisture. We are going to need the pasta water, but we're not gonna be able to grab that until we uh, drain it. So what I'm gonna do is uh, stick this on and get it. It'll be a really nice firm paste. So it's a really chunky paste, and that's on purpose because we don't have much moisture in here. Now I am going to take and while the machine is running, I'm going to pour the olive oil in the feeding tube. And that'll really mix it up well. It's still pretty thick, and that's why we need the pasta water. Instead of adding a lot more oil to it, we'll be using the starchy water. So I'm just going to add the cheese right now Move it along a little bit more, and we'll finish this off as soon as we drain the pasta. You can see that it's really chunky right now with all the ingredients in except for the pasta water. So what I'm gonna do right now is just add half of it. While the machine is running, I'm just gonna add a half a cup Totally different sauce now, see? We are going to mix this in the pot that I cooked it in because, you know, we don't want to make too many dirty dishes. So just take the blade out because you don't want to waste any of this good pesto because it is so delicious and flavorful. 
and let's see, there we go. We've got most of that off. So I'm gonna put about half of this at the bottom of this pot. Okay, and then I'm going to add half of the noodles. I picked the spirals. Now look how fun these are. Aren't those cute? And then they'll catch all of these wonderful flavors. So while it's still hot, I'm gonna add it to the pot. I just love these spring curls. And I'm going to mix this thoroughly. And now I'm gonna use the other half of the pesto and then add the rest. There we go. We'll mix this. And I think it really looks good, but it's not this glossy color that I like. And that shows it's a little more moist. So what I'm gonna do is mix this up. I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup. Look. You see how it has that really pretty, shiny, I don't wanna say oily, but I call it a gloss. And it's just a really nice consistency. Just take a couple leaves of uh, the leftover basil and just tear them and put it on top for a little garnet. And guess who is going to be joining me for the taste today? That's right, my mother, Jelaine. She is going to love this pasta. She has not tried it yet. Now, Jelaine, you have not been in my kitchen to try this dish yet. No, I haven't. Ken has eaten it numerous times. <laughs> I've been perfecting it. And uh, tell me what you think. Mm. Oh, it's so good. It's got a bit of a bite. It's a little heat. But again, you can leave out the red pepper uh, seeds if you don't like oh, that. No. But I like a little bit of a kick. Yes. So I got one of my favorite wines for us to enjoy with this. Mm. This is one of my favorite labels. It is Hanley right there in um, Northern California, right below Mendocino. And this is a great winery and uh, they have wonderful stuff. And this is their 2018 Pinot. Mm -hmm. Cheers. It's a beautiful color. Mm. Run, do not walk to my website caseymaloneshow.com and look for my sun-dried tomato pesto. You are going to love this. It is really delicious. It is yummy. <laughs> Sage is already back for more. Cheers! The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. Are you ready for a garage upgrade? Absolutely. Lose those ugly stains and even out your garage floor. Pebble Stone is luxury stone flooring that everyone can afford. 
Ta-da! Pebble Stone is made with natural stone and the strongest man-made binder. It's easy to clean, withstands moisture, and adds value to your home. I love this garage. Call now and receive 50% off select colors. Trust the Valley's own Pebble Stone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Well, it's been a few years since I featured my friend Anna Ficarelli. She is the owner and proprietor right here of La Rocca's in Poland, uh, one of my favorite Italian restaurants. And this is my favorite dish. It would be her tomato pepper salad. And honestly, you could drink the dressing. And Anna, because of this dressing, you are now an entrepreneur. Of my dressing. Of the dressing. Could you believe that? She's now in your local grocery store. <laughs> and this is a really exciting story because other people also shared uh, my affinity for this dressing, huh? Yes, uh, very popular, even on the salads, but mainly it was the Ed and Chrissy Moransky. And they, they loved it. And they always tell, told me, you should, you really... should bottle it. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like, okay. And they said, uh, well, we'll make an appointment with Tom Sidon. And we did, and he liked it, and we went from there, and it took a few months, but here we are. So initially, was Summer Garden interested? Had yes. They, had they tried your dressing before? No, they just started what I took it to them. And, and they, they were fans. Liked it. They were fans. Thank God they were fans. Well, yes, because you gotta <clears throat> like what you're modeling. Exactly. And you gave them the recipe, and, and how many attempts? And they're doing all the work. How many attempts? Yeah. I would say at least five or six attempts going back and forth. I mean, that had to, because you really got to get, get it right. right. Exactly. And then balsamic. When did you add that little flavor Actually, to it? Actually, let me tell you something. Go, it, even with all the Italian dressings that you see in the stores, yes. we are like, you know, uh, olive oil, vinegar, and the seasonings, right? Yes. So it was kind of hard to just pick one, so that's how we put ours together. And this, we just said uh, the uh, balsamic vinegar on so it. So instead of like a cider, you put balsamic, balsamic and I and mean, it is delicious. Yes. And, you know, the thing that we need to discuss here is this isn't just for salads. Right. Look at all this food out here. Have you been using this in the restaurant then for your chicken? I, the other night I was here, you made with the salmon. Yes. Oh my gosh, it was so it good. Was it's good a marinade the for the beef. Chicken and you, salad. It's a finishing. Don't forget now, we don't have everything that I have here. You can't come in and eat at LaRocca's and order, you know, All this food, meat, yes, right? yes. It's this just, this is just, just for the Casey show Malone you. Show. Excuse me, we're very, very special. <laughs> but you are showing all the things you can do yes, with it. Yes, and plus more. This is not even enough, but you can use it on anything and do everything with it, cook it, drink it, whatever you want to do. I know, it. look at this. I love this. It's mm -hmm. a pasta salad. So, instead of buying, you know, the weird pre-done pasta salad, right. You can make your own with Anna's sauce. Now, do you recommend the original or the uh, balsamic? The original for that. The kale salad is also with the I original. Know, I've got to try all these things. <laughs> I haven't eaten any of this and I'm starving. So the kale, I love kale salad. Are you going to have some of this with me? Sure. Of course you are. And then you put... Um, I put some nuts in it. And some, some red pepper. Or red onion, rather. And nuts. And nuts. Right, and cranberry. Tasted. It's really good. I bet it is. I it makes the cranberries make salad. it a little sa uh, sweet and sweet. salad. Yeah, sweet and sour rather. Little. Mmm. Oh wow. I mean, this stuff is outstanding. Thank you. I mean, and you're not just saying that. It's no, it's I'm not good. saying that just because I love you. But it's um, and then the three bean salad. And if which you is have beans at home and you just you know want to make a bean salad, just put them all together and put my yeah, house dressing and it's delicious. Now has this changed your cooking at home? You and Joe, are you guys uh, just using the dressing for most of your seasonings now? Are you sure? Yeah, I mean you I can. I mean it really yeah. makes things easier. It's very easy. I didn't know it was so easy. 
Now, are you going to venture and do more? Like, is there more things you want to do now that you're, you got a taste of this people, entrepreneurship? People are telling me to do my sauce, and that's going to take a while. Your my sauce is really good. Yeah, I mean, they're pushing but, me for my marinara sauce, regular sauce, clam sauce. Oh my gosh, the clam with together. red. Oh, the red clam is one of my favorites. Well, Anna, I've got to tell you, everything you have made, I mean, I, I can't believe the versatility of this dressing. You really don't think about using salad dressing for all these applications, but it's really good. It works. It does work. I mean, the balsamic is excellent, but I still, I got to tell you, my favorite <laughs> is the original Love This Stuff, and this is where it all began. This delicious tomato, tomato salad. salad. Uh, this is, I love this dish. Love it. And um, you could go to Facebook. Yes. And all the locations are uh, will be listed there where you can find the uh, La Rocca's salad dressings, because these are good. And this is just the beginning. I have a feeling this is the beginning of big, big stuff for you. I hope you. so, why not? You know, it's time. You got out of that little shell of yours. <laughs> And, and you blossom. At my age, yes. Yes, you know, it's time. It's Anna's time. And I do, I know there's going to be more. I think that the success from this is going to just. With your help, and with would my be help, great. Look for us at a local tasting near you. There <laughs> you go. Let's do doing that. Cheers. Cheers to you. Thank you very much. Too and much you're success. I love you. Mm -hmm. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.